Well, God bless you, Bishop Shaver here, and just praying that you've had a wonderful week, and uh, this is Sunday, the day the Lord hath made, and we're rejoicing in it, and I pray that uh, you'll just uh, find your way to the house of God, uh, get some praise in your life, and uh, just celebrate God's goodness. You know, when I think about how good God has been to me, and I look back over my past, and I look uh, you know, at my future, and I say, you know, all I can do is bless him. And uh, yesterday, you know, I, I preached a message over a funeral, a young girl, 17 years old, uh, uh, had cancer, and she fought it for three years, and finally, you know, she finally uh, came to her, you know, uh, her death, and but she she didn't just die. Uh, the old body and everything else, you know, she moved out of it, and uh she went to her new mansion and heaven she 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 was a christian she accepted the lord but you know i looked at all the youth there was probably a couple hundred that showed up for the funeral i looked at all the youth and and you know they're just excited about life and they're excited about you know uh what what's going on in the parties and the girlfriends and the boyfriends and all this but you know what they're not thinking about death they're not thinking that you know what the alcohol driving uh you know uh distracted uh by uh you know being on phone texting while driving and there's so many that are not gonna they're not gonna experience their future their full potential and you know i i look at this and it's really sad how society has really put a I guess I'd, I'd say a dampening on death. It's, uh, they, they advertise on Super Bowl, you know, the alcohol. Hey guys, if you want to be cool and get the girls, you know, you got to drink this or drink that and everything. And then, you know, uh, you see the female dance and then you see their, you know, they just, uh, almost look like they're naked sometimes and, and the girls feel they have to be that way to, you know, to, uh, get a boyfriend. And, you know, we, we've come to the place where right is now wrong, but wrong is right. Uh, the truth is really deception, but deception is the truth. And I'm just encouraging right now. Uh, parents and grandparents, uh, uh, be involved in your, uh, in your kids' lives. Be involved as far as keep telling them the truth. Keep letting them know that, listen, uh, this fentanyl out there and all these drugs, the lean, the molly, the spice, the, all the different drugs out there that they may think is cool, but in the end, it can be death. And so be involved in their life. Uh, also, this bullying, cyber bullying, and at school and everything else, we see uh, young teenagers committing suicide. Uh, they can't, you know, they can't handle what people are saying about them and the taunting and stuff. Be involved in your children's life. And if that's going on, you know, say something, do something. Uh, you know, even if you have to take your child and put them in, you know, start uh, homeschooling save a child's life, save the future. And so, you know, I just want to say this, get them in the house of God. <clears throat> the family that prays together stays together. And we want you to be a part of that. <coughs> Excuse me. And so with this right here, I just want, I just want to send out a warning, a caution that we are in perilous times. The enemy's coming after your children, coming after your marriage, coming after right now uh, this nation. And we can't sit back and do nothing and expect to save everything. We can't do it. Get involved. Rise up. And, and be a voice. Dare to be different. Dare to be a leader in your home. Don't let the enemy come in and steal what God has given unto you. And I just want to encourage you, be strong, be courageous, for the Lord your God is with you. All right, this is Bishop Shaver just saying, think about that. Now, go serve your king.